Goal setting always seems to be the number one trending topic at the start of every single year. Now, regardless if you're a developer or not, January is typically that trigger that makes most people sit down and consider what are the next steps in their own personal evolution. Now, on paper, this all sounds fantastic. However, when faced with unlimited options and potential career paths, simply thinking of some goals that you find motivating can be rough. Now, if the only outcome of making a list of goals is simply to make you feel good for a few days, but you never feel inspired enough to actually take action on them, why waste your time? My challenge to you in this video is for you to commit to leveling up your dev skills by at least 20% this next year. Now, the first step in this challenge is actually the hardest one, defining what you want to get better at in the first place. Like Benjamin Franklin mentions in his autobiography, if you want to get better at anything, pick one topic and commit to getting better at it. Now, for programming, I think there are three main categories where you might want to focus your energies. The first category is the obvious one. In this theme, you will commit to leveling up some type of technical skill. Now, if you're just starting out on your quest to learn how to code, this is probably the area where you should double down your efforts for the first few years of your career. And when you focus on improving your skills, you need to ask questions like, what new programming language or framework should I learn? Now, if you get stuck answering this question, my recommendation is to follow the most traveled path. And if you want to make a data-based decision, use the 2022 Stack Overflow Developer Survey for reference. Based on its results, you'll likely want to get better at JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, Python, or TypeScript. Now, if you decide to go for the JavaScript route, you may want to commit to gaining more knowledge in a specific framework. Now, based on the results from the State of JS survey, the most popular JS frameworks in the marketplace today include Next.js, Cypress, Beat, and Jest. Now, I personally find when setting these types of goals to try and be as specific as possible. For example, what does learning React mean? If I can build a single functional component, is my job done? Now, to help you reach a slightly deeper level when writing your goals, it is better to express your goals kind of like this. Learn X modules from X language or framework. Become the recognized subject matter expert in your company about X. Get officially certified in X. Complete an online course in X. Read X amount of books about X. The next category will help you level up your YouTube subscribers list. And you can do that by smashing on the subscribe button. Now, if this is the first time that you come across this channel, then my name is John and I release a video every Sunday that will help you create enterprise-grade websites and make you a coding legend. So if that sounds good to you, you know what to do. Now let's go back to the content. The next category of goals ditches the code and focuses on the soft skills. In this category, we'll focus on proven skills that will help you progress in your career. Now, after you've been coding for a few years, you might want to focus on other goals aside from just skill improvement. When you start focusing on goals within this category, the process might take weeks, months, and often years to find the correct path. There are so many different paths that you can take in software, and each path has different skills to master. Now, for example, do you want to code for the rest of your life? If so, contracting or freelancing might be something to consider. Do you want to manage teams and help influence younger developers? If so, management comes with its own set of skills. Do you like talking with clients? If so, software sales might be the correct path for you. Finally, do you hate having a manager telling you what to do? If so, owning your own business might be the better route. The takeaway is that each one of these paths comes with its own set of skills to master. After you define a clear trajectory, usually there will come some obvious next steps that you can take. Common goals that you might want to write down could include things like managing a team. So managing a team of people generally means less time coding. Instead, you'll be spending more time focusing on project and people problems. Now, management is not for everyone, and that is okay. Instead of management, you might just want to earn a promotion. 
Maybe you feel undervalued and you think you deserve more money or you just want greater recognition or a bigger influence of power where you work. Now, one issue with promotions as a goal is that success is based on external factors outside of your control. Now, just because getting a promotion is outside your influence, that doesn't mean it's not a great goal to have. Shoot for the moon. And if you miss, you will still be among the stars. Now that is a cheesy line, but you get the gist. Finally, if you just want some additional inspiration for the type of goals that you need to set for this category, then I recommend focusing on tasks like this. Being able to give a killer presentation. Feel confidence giving a demo. Increase your professional network. Get a job at a prestigious tech company like Facebook or Google. Learn how to market yourself more optimally. Learn to master technical tests and job interview questions. Now this category is an often overlooked camp. However, it could be the most important one. Now the average developer will spend 19.6% of their total waking life doing a job. Now, yes, it can be great working towards promotion. However, if you work in a toxic work environment or you do not like the people that you currently work with, it's not likely that after you get that promotion, you're magically going to have a more enjoyable life. Simply progressing where you currently work, maybe that's not going to get you where you want to be. Now, if you want to focus your next year on simply becoming happier, tasks in this camp could include getting a better work-life balance. Maybe you want to work remotely. Or on the flip side, maybe you feel isolated working from home all the time and you want to find a job where you can be in the office five days a week. Next, you might want to work on your bucket list project or a side hustle. Sometimes simply getting more enjoyment from coding can be done by working on something that you're passionate about. For other folks, some people might simply just want to get out of programming altogether. In the majority of places where I've worked, Throughout my career, there always seems to be one or two developers that seem like they just turn up for a paycheck. The love for code is weak in these people. These folks only do mediocre work and don't really care if the end code is any good or not. Now, if this resonates with you, maybe your next big motivating goal is to try something completely different and get out of coding. The final consideration I think is worth mentioning is leveling up your health. Now, it is well known that if you're unhealthy, your mood can suffer. And one way of leveling up your happiness is to set some health goals. Now, I don't want to give the cliched answer of simply saying, join a gym, as most people fail at this. My personal recommendation for you to get a bit healthier is to buy a Fitbit and commit to doing 10,000 steps every day, or simply tracking your calorie intake every day. Using an app and monitoring what you eat and setting a target will likely surprise you at how powerful it can change your eating habits. Now, going back to our challenge of trying to be 20% better by the end of the year, if you just want to improve your tech skills, I have three exercises that will help guarantee that. First is to complete the 100 Days of Coding Challenge. In the 100 Days of Coding Challenge, you build something new every day for an hour for 100 days straight. Improving any skill is done by intentional practice, and this challenge will force you into pushing yourself to learning something new every day. I have no doubt that if you take on this challenge and did it every day, there's no way that you cannot get better. You can see how I got on with my challenge from my website, and the link to my blog post is linked to below. The next challenge is to read at least five of the best programming books of all time. Now you can find a list of the top 10 books from my related link below. The final thing I recommend you can do is build a Stack Overflow rep. Now I started this goal in 2021. It's one of the only one that I actually failed and gave up on. However, I did learn a lot from it. Now, the great thing about committing to a Stack Overflow goal is that you'll need to research answers based on questions that you'll likely not come across in your day to day job. This is a perfect way to learn new things about your framework of choice and get feedback from the community on your way of thinking about it. Now, obviously, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. First, I will start by saying what I'm not going to focus on. 
Now I've been coding for 20 years and I can use C Sharp, JavaScript and React pretty fluently. After you've been doing anything for over 20 years, it's that much harder to get 20% better in any area. Now this is why this year my goals will be more centered around the career goals. Now last year I started a slightly different career path. I help sell and design solutions for the largest companies within the UK and Europe who are interested in either experimentation, CDP or CMS systems. Now this year I managed to come second in terms of sales within the solutions architecture team in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Now I'm the type of person who hates, absolutely hates coming second. It really grinds my gears. So this is why my goal for next year is to improve on that. This is why the area where I can have the biggest impact in my learnings is around my sales acumen. Now this is why this year I will commit to reading books on sales and communication. So this year I'm going to be reading books like Major Account Selling, Demonstrating to Win, Conversation that Wins Complex Sales, The Storyteller's Secret. Now just in case you were worried that I'd sold my soul, I sold out, and I didn't care about tech anymore. Now I'm still going to be reading or at least skimming these books. So Dynamics of Software Development, Practical BIM, Writing Solid Code, Code Metrics and The Productive Programmer. So if I can get through at least three quarters of that massive list, then I think I'll be winning in life. Next, I'm committed to finish the book that I'm currently writing, which is called Contentful, The Missing Manual. Now, if you want to learn more about how to build headless websites, a link to it is below. And finally, I'm committing to writing a new book. And at the moment, I'm thinking it's going to be on a certain CMS. However, if you've got ideas, please leave a comment below. I'm not going to spoil the fun yet. Final round. Fight. I'm always really interested to know what my watchers are currently planning on working on next. So if you have your own goals, please let me know what they are in the comments below. I do read and try to respond to everyone. Sometimes it does take me a few weeks though. Now, this is the point of the video. Do not forget to smash on the subscribe button if you've enjoyed it. Also, if you have found value from this video, don't forget to click on that like button. Clicking on like takes you a few seconds. However, it does really help me grow this channel and I'd appreciate it very much. Otherwise, if you want to learn about some of the best resources from 2022, then I've recorded a video that lists over 30 epic resources that I know you'll find a lot of value from. Now, if that sounds good to you, all you need to do is simply click on the link on the screen right now. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing 2023. I hope you manage to level up your dev skills. And until next Sunday, happy coding.